is unlikely that this crisis will be uh, solved without a change in the mindset of the leadership. And one may question, and Qataris are questioning, whether this is going to end up in seeing a change of leadership itself in Qatar. So it's a very serious issue. Uh, again, this is uh, Qataris sort of speaking to international media, wondering uh, uh, whether this is possible at all. The only way now forward is to stop the media escalation in Qatar, is to, um, if, if not shut down Al Jazeera, in my opinion, uh, from, what I, from what I understood from the Gulf official that I spoke to, if not shut down the, uh, the, the channel, uh, then to change the management in that channel and change the mindset, not only of the media networks, but also of the country itself. Um, the reason for this appears to have been a, uh, a festering anger uh, held by these uh, aggrieved countries towards Qatar, uh, actually since the 1990s, uh, where Qatar had a leadership uh, change in 1995 that uh, they felt was being uh, rogue and maverick. Doha now is completely isolated. Doha now uh, needs to uh, take serious steps very rapidly to placate not only uh, uh, the, uh, their neighbors, but, but also their allies around the world. A, a serious situation has become when, uh, when an embargo is effectively imposed on, on a country. And, you know, we have history of countries and cities that have survived embargoes, whether it's uh, West Berlin, uh, whether it's uh, Cuba, but does Qatar really want that? Does it want to be uh, sort of in this position for the next few years or even longer? The Qataris should not count on uh, that base as being a, um, a guarantee of uh, sort of American protection when it comes to conflict with Saudi Arabia. Again, which is something that none of us wish to see. But I think the Americans uh, would choose uh, to side with Saudi Arabia over almost any other country in the region.